Hello Twin Flames! Welcome to my channel, whether you're new or you're coming back. Thank you for being here and let's get started. This is going to be a daily check-in for feminine energy, masculine energy, uh, for how they feel for each other and we usually get one extra question so let's find out what it's going to be. But we before we get to tarot, of course, I'm going to pull an oracle card and there we go <laughs> for each of the twins watching. Uh, to see what kind of message Spirit wants to share today with you. And uh, just give me a second while I reach out for the card that flew away. Synchronicity is a love letter from the universe across time and space. So watch out for synchronicities during this time. Uh, this can be something simple like one of those uh, C in 11.11 or 12.12 or 04.04 on the clock. Or it can be something a little more profound, like you were thinking about some topic, got a thought in your consciousness, and then suddenly you can't stop hearing about it on TV, in a song, in your playlist. Uh, your friend would suddenly start talking to you about it. I'd like something like that. It can be a lot more loud, right? But whatever it is, and of course, each of us have our individuals, ways of um, getting, of seeing, of noticing the signs from your guides, from the universe, but whatever it is, it is sent um, as support to you, right? Like it's sent as a good omen. Uh, and of course, it might be for a different reason, either because you're supposed to know something new or it's to support you, be encouragement on uh, what you're pursuing and where you're going. And this is for you, divine ma divine feminines, to not to overlook, because sometimes we also get like, yeah, yeah, this is all good, but I have to keep my focus down here, right? Or I'm still facing this, this, and this challenge, and I'm gonna focus on there, right? This is for you to almost like take a break, slow down for a moment, right? And give yourself a pat on the back for how far you've come for what you've been through recently, for how well you're doing, right? I'm hearing that's the most important part of this message, of this synchronicity that you are getting today or you're gonna get very soon. Who do we have for the masculine? Okay. Your greatest joy pollinates the world, number 41. Yeah, so uh, whenever you are in that joyful and happy space, it's a little bit of synchronicity actually was what I was just talking about for the feminines. Don't feel guilty about it. Don't try to get back to business and be serious. Like, you know, so this is all silly. This is like, and for a lot of us, that's what we've been taught uh, at home, at school, wherever, growing up, right? Like be serious, right? Like the, like, you know, you're supposed to, uh, give your time and focus on the serious stuff, especially as an adult, right? But it's not really the case. And whatever serious business we are up to, we are focusing on these days, is still supposed to bring joy. There's sh there should be um, something in that activity, in that relationship, that brings us joy. Otherwise, it's not really worth pursuing. You're basically like rowing against the wind or the, against the stream. Um, just not serving anyone. So for some, it's um, a thought to look back and see where, whether you're giving your time and energy to the right things. For others, it's just that, again, you've been through so much and you've already worked through a lot of that hard thing, serious thing, right? So this is a time to bring in joy, right? And know that when you are in that silly, joyful energy, it impacts people around you. It uh, fires them up in a good way. It gives them enthusiasm. It gives them that joy and happiness. It gives them that um, petrol that they need to keep going, to go for whatever dream they want to go for or overcome the challenge that seems insurmountable. Okay, let's get into tarot. Today I've got the Thelma deck. Beautiful one. Just wanted to go classy. <laughs> Let's see. Summer is back in New York, by the way, and I'm loving it. This week is gonna be great. 
Hope you guys are enjoying your weather wherever you are in the world. I know in the southern hemisphere, winter is almost over actually. Oh yeah, I guess over by now. <laughs> so it's supposed to get generally warmer, the weather is smoother. So whatever the season is, I hope you find a way to make the most of it. Okay, so we get energy for the feminine, the masculine. Extra question and how they feel towards each other. Bottom of the deck, King of Wands. Oh, I think we had this one yesterday. By the way, I started uploading my um, monthly horoscopes for October, so make sure you don't miss yours. <sighs> I should upload all of them um, by end of day Tuesday, hopefully. <laughs> so anyways, I see that King of Wands energy is just that fired up, you know, joy and excitement or wanting to go with it, right? Like you can still be um, focused, you can be goal oriented, but bringing that creativity and uh, joy as important ingredients to what is it you're doing. And even if you're following someone's teaching or you're following certain instructions in your pursuits and you clearly see like you're like literally following that to the book to the letter and there's nothing fun there <laughs> and you're like well just like it's just not very much fun right or at this point in this phase while i'm learning i like i don't know how to insert fun in it but you got to that's the point especially you know as a light worker as a twin flame that's how we roll <laughs> really otherwise it's not even gonna stick I'm um, watching a course and masterclass around uh, habits and changing your life through habits. It's with James Clear, who is, if you've heard, I um, think they, his book is called Atomic Habits. Uh, it's like one of those New York bestsellers. And he's uh, like one of these breakthrough inspirational speakers that tells you how much you can change your life by doing your habits right, uh, doing it in a wise way. And so anyways, uh, this is like a little course that he's done on Masterclass and I'm watching that. Um, and like, he obviously he doesn't talk about esoterics there. He doesn't talk that much about physic, quantum physics and energy. He definitely doesn't talk about twin flames. But what is important, he still talks about that the habits that stick with you, they're supposed to be attractive to you. They're supposed to be enjoyable. And yes, there's a very different way you can spin that depending on the context, but it's got to be there, right? And um, yeah, even if you're doing something useful, something noble, something admirable, if you are struggling on your way to it, it's probably not going to give you, like, it may still be useful, but it's not going to give you, you know, the... Uh, I don't want to say payback because it sounds very transactional, but it's not going to be that reciprocity towards you. Right? You're not going to get what you expect or what it's possible to get out of it, right? It's still going to be a mediocre result. Ten of Cups, the support deck, by the way, that's the bottom of the deck. So emotional fulfillment, that's the answer. That's the secret sauce. What takes you to that emotional fulfillment today, to the Ten of Cups? Do the best of the best in your emotional space. Do some of that. And then come back to a serious thing tomorrow. See how that works. Okay. So to, um, for Divine Feminines, the energy is Nine of Cups clarified by the lovers. Yeah, so definitely Divine Feminine is choosing, or you're supposed to choose, at least if you haven't done that yet, uh, to choose the path towards uh, love. And love can be, you know, a very different thing depending on the context again self-love love with your friends your family your co-workers right but it's a choice of being in an environment look at all these cups that surround her to surround yourself with love with people who express that love it doesn't have to be like a romantic partnership although why not that's exactly how you attract your twin flame fyi right but this is like this big realization that that's the power. That's something that powers you up. And that's true. That's the reality of it. 
For masculines, we have, wow, death with eight of wands. There is some communication that the masculines are receiving that bring in huge change for them, for their reality. And of course, this is a collective reading, so take it how it resonates, what kind of communication it is. It can be from a person, like literally a conversation. It can be um, something in a written form. It can be an official announcement, uh, you know, in a more public space. It can be something coming from friends. Uh, like maybe even a story that somebody's telling them about themselves and but the masculine suddenly takes it in and it's like wow something clicks and they're like "Ooh, how did I not see that before something along those lines right uh, so it can be quite literal for some for others it'd be more like something that will just get into their space and they'll be like wow I never really thought about it that way or actually that's so relevant for me but I forgot about it completely so now they're seeing their current situation from a very different angle. Beautiful. Additional question. <laughs> Eight of Wands, again, clarified by strengths. Communication. <sighs> there is something honest, but at the same time, powerful in the communication that the twins are receiving these days. And we'll see what it means for each of them, right? But it's something where you need to be courageous to either speak your truth or to receive the information in the, in its pure form without putting in extra layers of your emotional space on top of it. Like, oh, this person is only giving me these compliments because X, Y, Z, they have an agenda. Or yes, this sounds uh, bad, but you know what? Actually, there is this, 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 and that, right? Like, don't try to make it better or worse than it is. Take the information in, try to be as objective and as courageous as possible in receiving it. I.e., if somebody's telling you that you messed up, you did something wrong, don't try to be defensive right away. Don't go into your fight or flight response. Take it in. At the very least, listen, you know, like get yourself some time or you can always respond with something like, okay, give me some time to, to process this, right? or I'll get back to you on this. This is a lot to take in. Something along those lines, you can always say that and take the time if you feel like you're gonna be in a, you, you won't be able to respond in a healthy way right then and there, but it's important. That's the general gist of it. Let's see what kind of communication it is for the feminines. The star clarified by the judgment. Look at that. You're getting downloads from the divine on next steps in mission on who you are and what your psychic gifts are on how do you get a much clearer clearer, and stronger um, channel of communication with your guides and with the divine. This is beautiful. This is also talking about, there was a judgment here, talking about certain karmic situations that have come into your life to give you certain power, certain enlightenment, where it may have felt painful and heavy, but it actually was a blessing in disguise in how much you've gained from it. You will get that clarity. Beautiful. I love it. Yeah, that sometimes takes courage to accept, to, to even to hear that, to realize that. For masculines, we see page of ones and seven of ones. Um, 1D cards. And it, guess what? It's again eight of ones together. <laughs> communication about communication. But yeah, Page of Wands is the main figure here. So it's some sort of a message about, about emotions, about how the best intention can go wrong. If you are trying to be too, to play it safe, to be in a kind of in, in your own bubble, right? Like you can't really build uh, high quality relationships by staying in your safe space, in your comfort zone, just, kind of like building a wall around you so that people can hurt you. It just doesn't work that way. There is no flow there. And so this is, this brings the masculine to the idea that they are a page when it comes to communication. There's so much to learn, maybe that they didn't realize and that takes courage to face that reality. Feelings towards each other, feminines to masculines. Nine of swords clarified by the justice. Look at that. Continuing with Major Arcanus, wow. Um, yeah, so there is some sort of anxiety over situa a karmic situation. 
and I'm getting a situation in the past, but it's still bothering Divine Feminine. Something that happened that keeps them awake at night, which doesn't allow them to move on to the next thing, right? And um, there is a desire to find that compromise, to find that balance, to bring it to, um, how do we call this? To bring it at least to a neutral space where it doesn't bring up a lot of emotions, right? So there is that desire for the masculines or the divine or both to bring in. But this is about something about the mas the situations of masculines in the past. Like the feminine is desiring to stop this anxiety. And the full moon is actually just had full moon in Aries a few uh, like three days ago. So the, new, the full moon actually eliminated it even more, right? Where something needs to clear out. Like, you know, when they say about communication, like, we need to clear the air like something like that needs to happen to be able to move on to the next uh phase to something bigger and better otherwise it's just gonna drag on and at least it's gonna be a blocker for communication within the connection right maybe for something else as well but at the very least for this dynamic masculines we have knight of cups clarified by six of one so Masculines definitely want to express their feelings. They want to express that for them, like they feel so lucky to have their feminine in their life. And they know that when they're together, they, they will be the winner. Like they will feel like a hero of their time, like a super successful person just because they have you in their life. And it's not like, you know, they're, they're going to feel like a trophy husband. No, it's more like uh, they value you so much and what you have together that for them that's already going to be a win it's almost like you know that's that part of the ego death where there isn't going to you know like masculine energy in general strives for that more bigger better of like uh proving themselves to the public right like so they get those titles they get the recognition and this in this case diam is saying uh, having you by my side is gonna do that for me. I'm not gonna have that ego to go for extra, 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 right? It doesn't mean I'm not gonna grow with you, but that's all I need to say when I'm in public and I'm talking about myself in my life. I know that you are so special and you'll be, there is even, there is definitely so much more that you're gonna show to the world in the future. And I'm excited and I'm proud and I can be happier that you are considering me to be by your side in this life, in this experience. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it here. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And until next time, 